Hey guys, hope all of you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited today. We are going to see how to scrape quick info data. I'm going to show you some basic stuff. How do you scrape, for example, the toss, the result of the match, score of the match, things like that. Okay, let's get started right away. As usual, I've imported some packages, right? Request, beautiful soup and all that. On top of that, I have this URL. Okay, this is basically a match between Kolkata and Punjab. I'm taking a random URL. This match happened, I think, in 2022. So first step, we're going to try and scrape the toss. Okay, so I'll scroll down a little bit. Um, I guess the toss is here. Yeah, so you know, Kolkata elected to field first. Let's see how we can get this information. Okay. So I have the URL here already prepared, right? I just copied that. And uh, yeah, let's start with trying to scrape the data. Since this is toss, I'll create a function called toss of URL. Okay. We are writing a function because suppose we want to do it for 20 or else we can use this function, right? That's the purpose I'm writing it as a function. First step, many of you may know, we need to do a get URL, right? To like actually request. So it's basically request dot get of URL. Like we have seen this many times in our other scraping videos in our channel as well. So once you get that, you need to get the content, right? Like the proper content. So let me assign it to a new value called web. And what you want is whatever you got from the web page, you want the content. So you say web page dot content. Okay, next step, this information will not be in a very easily human readable form. So you need to kind of parse it like in like HTML. So for that, what can I do? I'll create a new value called soup. And I will say, I'll call this function from beautiful soup, call beautiful soup itself. And I'll pass this web argument and also you need to say html.parser, right? To make it like a little bit neat. And then we can simply print soup for now. Let's see what we get. Okay, I should have typed print soup. Perfect. And let me try this function for the URL value equal to URL new. So let's say I'll call it toss and I basically want to try this function, right? Toss of URL for the URL value in URL new. URL new is the specific URL we have defined. Okay, let me run this. And also let me run this. Let's see what we get. We get a lo long list of stuff, okay? Uh, so in this, how do we go and extract the toss? So for that, go back to the URL um, and then just go somewhere and just right click to inspect. Okay, and then go and click this button right and uh, just scroll down get to the toss right like click this button again place your cursor at the toss so now if i narrow down and go here on the right i see kolkata nitrate selected to field is within a span class as you see the name of the class is dx test tie test but it's within a span class so how can we find now this value through scraping it's within a span class so let's try this right um, let's see what all span classes exist if there are more span classes in the data, right? So I'll just say M, right? And say it's equal to from the soup value dot find all, right? Like I want to find all the span classes, right? And now print of M. Let's see what we get by doing this. You see, we get a lot of span classes again, right? If I scroll down a little bit, there are simply so many span classes, right? So now in each of these class, how do we get the text? So for that, we can run a for loop, right? We know there are so many span classes. So we can say, let's say for m in soup dot find all of span, okay? Right, I create a for loop. And in this, I want to find n, which is nothing but the text value in M, right? So we are running through the loop and in each case finding the text. Okay, and equal to M dot text. And let me simply say print of N. So when I run this now, let's see what we get. We get a, a lot of values as you see here, right? So toss we know will contain the word elected. So if I do control F and search for elected, you know there is only one value, right? Kolkata nitrate is elected to field first. We are getting this. So from all these values we've got, how do we filter for just the toss value? So you, you know it contains the word elected. So you can say if this word elected, right, 
is contained in n then just print the n right otherwise please don't print the n okay so we made a small change let's see what we get and now we get kolkata nitrate is selected to field first so bingo we got the toss okay let's do a few more things uh let me just modify this let's say we want to see who won the match okay that's the next thing so or like what was the result of the match like let's say match winner right i'll just change this function right like the normal steps up to html parcel will be the same now we want to find uh, who won the match so to find that let's go back here again and let me scroll up a little bit right i think the result will be on top right so i go here and you see kkr 1 by 6 wickets so again i click on this go here i place my cursor if you see on the right side it's again within a span class right but this span class kkr 1 by 6 wickets is within a p class called dx text titium okay it is within a p class this span class and it's kkr 1 by 6 wickets so we need to first try and find the p class dx text titium okay how do we find the p class so let me remove all this right so let's say again like m equal to soup dot find all of right so to find that specific p class we can also write like this so we'll say p and then i want to find p class right and what was the name of the class let's go back and check it is dx text titium right it's basically here so let me type that here dx text titium uh and then like let's print of m like let's see what we get right and let me add like this value again right so this time this is winner right like and here the function is not toss but match winner function which we have just defined now for url in url new so now let's run this and see what we get uh okay uh so dot find all what could be the error here okay yeah actually this should come within flower brackets when you write that class part so don't forget that okay okay let me just keep the uh, closing flower bracket and remove this one i think now it should work now let's see now we get uh, kkr 1 by 6 wickets but we still get like the span and other stuff right we are not still getting the text so how do we just get the text again so you can say for this yum in soup dot find all of this right in that can you find span right so we'll say for span in now within yum we have to find the span right so i can say yum dot find all of span okay i just need to print span dot text okay so in soup you have to find the m which is basically this p class within that p class now we want to find like the span we do another for loop and then we get the span dot text okay now like when i run this and again when i run this winner okay we should have printed it right otherwise it won't show the output so i should have ideally printed this so i'll say print span dot text and now we get kkr 1 by 6 wickets 33 balls remaining so bingo we also got the result right so we got the toss we also got the result let's just try uh, a couple more things right i'll just copy this function again like next thing we are going to try and do is we going to try and find the uh, score okay so the score in the match was 137 punjab kings kkr made 141 for four for that i can click here and hover over this right 141 for four what you notice is it is again within a div class called dx text compact m okay and within that div class it in, it is within a strong class right the score 141 for four so it is within a div class and then within that as in a strong class so the div class is dx text compact m and we have a strong class right so how can we now uh, get like the scores 
So I can give it a name define scores, right? Like as the function. So first we noticed it is within a div class, right? The format is almost same. It's ds text compact m as I just showed you. So I can just change that here. And within that we know it was in a, a strong class, right? So let me just change this to some s. So within the div class, I want to find the strong class. And uh, yeah, I just need to print s dot text. Right, so first find the div class and within that find the strong class, within that the text. Um, and then just let me copy this. I'll paste it here. Right, so this is basically score. And I can use the scores of URL function, right? Let's see what we get. Okay, we run this, we got it. We run this and we got it. 137 and 141 for 4. Both are the scores of the two innings, right? That's what we wanted and we've got that also. Perfect, right? So this is also done. Uh, what if we wanted the name of the teams, okay? Name of the teams, you just hover over one of them, right? Like, let me click here and hover over. What I notice is, uh, it's it's kind of a link, right? So it's, it's kind of a link. So you can uh, try to do that. Or on the right side, if you notice, this pbks is within a span class called dx text title, right? Just uh, place the cursor here. If you notice the right side, it's within a span class called dx text title, l, right? So let dx text title span class. So let's try to pull pull that information. Uh, okay, let me say this time it is team names. So you know we don't need to go so much this time right it's so within uh, uh, think a span class right and the name of the class was dx text type l and uh, yeah what do i need to do i can just do print of m dot text and c right and this time i want to get the you know team names like so let me create another function here right this is team names function should go in here this is perfect let me just put teams right so i'm finding this span class let's see what we get notice we get a couple of extra things but you can remove that right but we got the two teams punjab kings and the kolkata night raiders okay so this is how we can get like this useful information okay i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you again in another video till then take care